picked up New York now. Yeah, I got this in the trailer for 700 bucks. And uh, the go kart looks like it's, it's like new. No one's ever u really used it. You know, the cleanest one I've seen, usually they're all beat up. But uh, the trailer's a little, a little clapped out, but uh, can't beat the price. So, especially Harbor Freight's not selling these trailers no more, or at least where I'm at. Here's the old Harbor Freight trailer. After I'm done with it, after I got done with it, I should say, I ended up putting this uh, four foot wide box. Came with two keys, locks. Pretty cool. Just as wide as the trailer. Uh, it can go pretty far. I could jackknife and still won't hit the bumper. But uh, I also have a backup camera, so I'm not too worried about it. I uh, then put, uh, I bought two sheets of four by four diamond plate. And uh, I have three quarter plywood, used carriage bolts, do it all. Before I did that though, I put this edge metal, one by one edge metal, so you don't see the plywood. Then I put the diamond plate on top. Uh, I left it cut in the middle so it could fold up in theory if I took this box off, but I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna fold it up. I took the casters off, to save on weight, took the, whatever I could to save on weight, I took off, but this box was really light. I wanna say like 25 pounds. It's all aluminum, weather tight. I mean, uh, and these were 15 pounds a piece. So that's 30, so I added about 60 pounds but I took off maybe 15 pounds. There's a cross member here uh, that I took out and I'm utilizing the box as strength for that. And uh, that's it, man. There's the Yerf Dog 420. This is a uh, you know, YZ125 two stroke uh, silencer. Uh, I redid it somewhat. I put my relocated my battery up here just to take some of the weight off the swing arm. This is my chain tensioner I made. I mean, it works. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but it works. Uh, add some stiffeners here. This is, uh, I don't mind my welds there. This is really jank welds, but I'm still learning. And I'm working with the flux. Flux wire, flux core wire welder. It's not a uh, not gas hooked up to it. Anyways, see that there? Put a gusset, put a bar and a gusset. And I put two uh, gussets here and here. So, just the weight alone of that 420 is like 100 pounds. I mean, with everything, 100 pounds difference. Let's call it in a 212. Despite whatever the box says, you got to remember the torque converter. I mean. With, so it's adding a lot of weight. And then, then the, the extra torque and horsepower just wanted to rip itself apart. So kind of beefed it up a little bit, see if it holds. Still gotta reattach my light bars and whatnot, but, but uh, trailer came out good. I mean, the paint, yeah, I just threw some red paint, you know, trying to clean it up a little bit. I still gotta buff this box out. I know, uh, it could look better than what it does. It'll, it'll come back. I'll buff it out and then uh, uh, I gotta redo the lights. I'm gonna redo the lights. I'm gonna get LED lights, the wiring, buff that box out, and then look for some chrome rims and uh, yeah, call it good. You know, gotta gotta keep it looking fresh. You know. So oh, also all these trailers don't come with uh, a jack in the front. So I'm gonna go right now and get me a jack. I mean, it is what it is for a bolt together trailer. In my head, I was thinking it was gonna be 
a little a little bit better a little beefier so and granted this thing was used it was old and uh i got lucky I, I bought it i didn't really scope it out and a lot of the bolts were were loose you know could have killed somebody i guess but uh the other thing that you gotta remember on the phone the guy was telling me it's a two inch ball it's a two inch ball it's a two inch receiver but the ball is inch and seven eighths all right so i had a two inch ball on there but i have mine i have a lock on my my hitch and i didn't have the key with me so i was way like two hours from the house and this dude i buy it he gotta go he had to go to work so he just left me hanging so i had to wait and hunt down some channel locks switch out the ball but uh there it is. That looks decent. I mean, I was kind of like, damn, what I, what I buy it for? So, but today and after doing this, I, I, I like it now. It looks better. And I got the storage. So, uh, roughly, let's call it, I was in, I, I got the trip like roughly about 200 bucks. Spent 200 bucks on some metal. Buck 50 on the, on the box. I don't know. I mean, this thing's 600 bucks. I mean, looks decent, I guess. Uh, I more or less needed it for the size to fit. I got a single car garage and it needed to fit in there. So I know for thousand or fifteen hundred bucks, I, I could have got a killer trailer. But uh, I need six hundred bucks and it, and, it, and it works. So also I can do it now, but it tilts. I just remove the two pins in the single tilt to load and unload. So that's that's pretty cool. Come, came in handy. So. Uh, there it is, Harbor Freight.